Pattern Art. Today I am debuting the new TLP color, Blini. It is so soft and pretty, and you know I'm not an orange person, but this isn't like super orange. It's a very nice peachy color. Um, I really want to use it with sea glass, which is their like my favorite light greeny kind of minty color, but I didn't do it this time. I actually took about an hour to pick the colors because I wanted it to be super perfect. So I did a little swatch. Number one, I don't have any white pillow paint mixed up because you know, I have to like mix it, decant it, leave it open for a day to thicken. But I, what I do have is this color um, called Dark Night for a pillow. That's Sherwin-Williams color to go. Hold on, I'll show it to you. Okay, isn't this, and I thought, because you know, orange and um, green are complementary, it might work nicely. So I started to build from that. And sometimes building color palettes isn't that easy, but let's do it, shall we? So I started with, this is the pillow paint here. Then I thought to myself, um, TLP tail feather, really nice. Then of course my favorite dark green, Hobine Shadow Green, topped with TLP Shimmer, which is their green to turquoise interference, which of course you can't, oh, you can kind of see in this light. Ooh, yeah, all right. Um, on top of that is a custom green that I made just with zinc white and um, phthalo green. Then we have the Blini. Then I topped it off with, um, Amsterdam Titan Buff Light. Now you're asking yourself, what is this purple? Originally, I didn't have the purple and it just looked too cold. Like I wanted something to pop. I mixed up an orange and then I'd have to like doctor it too much. So I left out the orange because I didn't love it. So I said to myself, maybe I'll put, because I wanted a cool, but not too cool, like somewhat warm to cool color, okay? So I'm kind, so this is um, just white and diox purple. And I'm kind of hoping that it won't take over too much, but I'm going to keep it towards the bottom, but hopefully it will give it some interest. Oh my God. I just love what's ever is happening right now. Can I keep this? So pretty. Um, number three or four, whatever. I wanted, I was getting bored of Payne's Gray Cell Activator. So what I did was I mixed up some Payne's Gray Cell Activator and I added some golden, um, phthalo green. So you can't super see, but it kind of looks like a shadow green. Let me compare it to the shadow green. It's a little darker than the shadow green, but it does have a green. Why don't I compare it to oh, shit sticks? It's okay. I'm just going to put it right back in. We didn't have anything horrible happen yet. Hold on. I'm just getting it back in. What I was going to say was I'm going to compare it to a regular Payne's Gray once I wipe it off my glovies. And we're going to go slow and steady. So here's a regular Payne's Gray. And here's my greeny Payne's Gray. Slight difference. I, I like it, actually. I don't know. I'm sure it's going to work, but whatever. Okay. Huh. Okay, now let's talk about what it is I'm actually doing. I have a 12 inch square. You know me, I'm always getting bored. What do you wanna do? I don't know, let's figure it out when we're down there. See you in a second. Okay, I think I wanna do something very negative space-ish. Would it be fun? and I don't think I've ever done this before, to use a really tiny um, palette knife and just like do shapes and have fun. Definitely different. That's what we're doing because maybe I've done it a long time ago, but to be honest, I don't remember. So that's what we're doing. Just to keep me inspired. You know what I mean? Uh, not like I'm complaining, but you can imagine how many blooms I do. <laughs> you, you've seen all of them if you watch my channel. So, you know. Okay. Um, let us see. I kind of, I'm going to spread it out a little bit because, as usual, 
probably, oh, that was paint on that one. Probably too, put too much peinture. That is French for paint. I can give you French lessons while we paint to keep it interesting. What do you guys think? I'm not like, listen, I'm not, I used to be fluent in French because I went to Toronto French school. Um, so I used to like dream in French. I was fully French, but then I, I left when I was like um, 15 maybe. So I can understand it, but sometimes I forget. Some words, yeah, there's definitely a lot of paint there. But you know what? If we're stretching it out, which I think we're going to do, it might be okay. I just want to make sure, you know, get some off a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> so should I, like, pretend I'm, like, I don't know. Whatever. Let's just have fun, right, at this point. I can, um, okay, yep. We're gonna go like this, okay? We're gonna do, like do like a, you know, a shape, I don't know, like that. Okay, so that is that light purple. Then I will go with the tail feather. I'll start up here this time. The tail feather looks very similar in color to this pillow, which is just fine by me. Such a pretty, like, it's very a blue, I don't know how they describe it even, but it's like a bluish, dark turquoise, I would say. I don't know. Okay, a bit, oops, that was too much of the shadow green. See, I'm going very minimal, which you know is hard for me. Um, and then we have the shimmer here. If you hear annoying noises in the background, I'm sorry, Elliot's woodworking in our garage. So just bear with us. Whoa, hold on. I didn't add this. <clears throat> this is an old stick. But look at how pretty mermaid would be. Well, that would be really pretty. Wouldn't it? <gasps> Do I have to run and go get mermaid really quick? Yep. Doing it. Don't care. Hold your horses. Where's my mermaid? Mermaid, where are you? I just... Uh, right? Sometimes you just gotta, you know. There we go, mix her up a bit. You know, I gotta. Okay. Then I'm gonna do a bit of this green. Okay. All right. Oh, I see a little booble there. Bloop. Okay. Oh, now the star of the show. <laughs> Although right now it's like looking very wild. I hope she's the star of the show. You know? Because she deserves to be. I'll just put a bit more of her on. <sighs> I don't want to ruin this by doing stupid little swipes if they're ugly. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm nervous about that now that we're talking about it. And then here's my Titan buff. So, hmm, because I don't want to ruin her because she could be very beauteous, you know? And if I start playing around, okay, whatever. You know what? I'll do one swipe like this. We'll play it by ear, right? And then we'll see what happens. I don't know. Because I don't want to... I think, you know what? That's probably why we, what stops us all the time from trying new things, right? Because I don't want to waste this paint in beautiful color, but then I always say to myself, it's only wasted paint. So what am I so afraid of? You know? Okay, so on this little palette knife, I'm gonna put my dark green cell activator. <laughs> Sorry, you have to listen to all like my inner thoughts. Okay, here we go. Okie dokie. And I'm wondering, should I put white too? What do you think? Mm, we'll just start with this one and see. Right, or do we wanna keep it light? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, do, do, do. What do we do? 
I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put a little white. Yeah, I'm gonna. Is that a bad idea? You never know. I'm just drizzling like a little bit of the white, okay? Like this, look. Just maybe for some contrast. Okay, ready? This shouldn't be that hard, guys. Why am I, you know? Okay. Okay, the cell activator did not work great. You can see it's giving me like US Floetrol cells, like very thick. And um, kind of yuck. You know? It's okay, we're not panicked, but I don't see much of the star of the show. But very bubbly cells. So thick cell activator gives you more bubbly cells. Um, obviously we don't like that anyways. It's not really giving me what I want at this point. So, in that case, we're just going to, first of all, I'm gonna go back to the white cell activator and we'll compare. Cause at this point, I think this is gonna be a scraper. So now at least the pressure's off and we can have some fun, right? So, Because I do, the whole point of this was the peach, right? To make the peach a thing. And she's not really a thing. It's pretty though, very pretty colors. Um, when you get into these crazy uh, compositions, it starts to get hard to control. But I'm gonna keep going anyways. Should I leave the, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna move to the regular Payne's Gray Cell Activator now. Okay. Uh, moment. So this is just the regular Payne's Gray. Okay. Don't know what I'm doing yet. Okay, see the difference of the little juicy cells. Okay, now we're just getting into like alien territory, you know, but that's fine. Okay, now we're just, since we're just playing to continue the play, we are going to really make that peach blini pop somehow. So let's think, let me just pop this bubble while we're thinking. Um, don't, I do actually, I'm enjoying this shape here. That's about it. Uh, you know what I mean? So that circular shape, the colors I agree with. Um, I don't think I needed the purple now that I'm looking at it. So let's do something fun. That last swipe I didn't like. So why don't I continue? Maybe with a bigger palette knife. Okay, so I'm just gonna load this up, okay? And I'm gonna start with the white. And I'm basically, so I put the white down here, okay? Then I'm gonna go, uh, I'm just gonna mix it up a bit. Okay, so then I'm gonna do 
the shadow green, all right? I'm not gonna do too many. Then I'm gonna do the peach, okay? I really liked the peach with the shimmer and the, I'm just gonna go crazy. I'm gonna do the tail feather and just a bit of tail feather and shimmer like that, okay? Okay, did anything happen? No, schmoozed it up a lot. Okay, we're not panicking. That sometimes happens when you load too much on a knife, it like schmooshes it, but you see some cool. Okay, okay, we're getting some like waterfalls, like a peach waterfall. I really do like these colors. Um, it's not a winner yet, but you know me, I don't give up. So I'm liking this here. Uh, I'm not liking this, okay? So we're gonna continue on our journey of peach. Okay, so we have peach. We have mermaid. We have tail feather. Three piggies. We have shadow green. Okay. Gonna do the same thing with this one. Gonna load the white. Sometimes these opportunities, when you know it's kind of starting to be a failure, it kind of gives you the freedom to play around and see if you can fix anything or not. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Obviously, it's not great and obviously, no. Just gonna keep playing. Ew. This thing's ugly here. Okay, well, what would happen if I super stretch it? I don't know. The col colors are really nice. So, okay, let's get this corner off. Let's start stretching. And if not, I'm gonna actually redo the whole thing, obviously. I'm not gonna torch you guys any longer. I love these colors though. Okay, we're gonna go back to the middle. And then I'm gonna get this corner off here. Okay. Okay, it's starting to look like a, um, I guess, stormy sea of some sort. You know? The colors are really cool. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that corner actually. I like what I'm starting to see. And again, until you stretch it out, you know, you can't really call anything a failure. It's very abstract. I do like the colors. You know what? I like the stormy sea. Okay, let me, right? Not what we were expecting, but it never is. Okay, let me give her a little spinny. Spinny winny. So yeah, I think in terms, like obviously I'm doing a, another one for you guys. Um, like a little touch of purple is nice, but not a super intense one, you know? I think this is pretty. Okay, so the next one, why don't we just do a bloom so everyone's happy, you know? Okay, hold on, let's see, do we have a lot of paint left? No, okay, well, listen, is it what we expected? No, it never is, 
but it's very, I like the colors. I'm going to show you in the light anyways. Um, but so far, not a horrible failure and really more of an exercise of patience and uh, not giving up till the end, right? Let me just get those boo-boos out. Okay, so I'm going to show you what this looks like in the light and then we will move to the next one. We'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> we're going 14 inches because that's what I have. And we're just gonna do a regular, <clears throat> sorry, I'm losing my voice. A regular bloom, and I really want to make this golden peach shine. And I think I'm gonna use my white cell activator. Um, the dark one was just making it too, you know dark, doomy and gloomy, which we don't want. Okay, <clears throat> here we are. I think I just saw a blue. Okay, get this bloopy out. Okay, get this, oh, sneakers is barking at the world. So annoying, we try to like block the window, but he always finds a way. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm gonna change it up a bit. Why don't I start with <clears throat> Mermaid? Okay, because that's fun. Um, then I'll do like a bit of this purple. We don't want it to take over. We just want like a hint, you know? All right, and then I will do the tail feather because that's so super pretty. Okay, right, so far so good. Um, then I will do, uh, hmm, do I, oh, I see another thing, hold on. Oh, while I'm thinking here, is this a bloop or a, not a bloop, okay. Um, right, right O. Do I wanna do anything else? Yeah, so then I'm gonna do like, I don't know, just like a bit of this green. Then I will do, yep, more, I'm doing good. <laughs> then I'm gonna do shimmer, okay? Cause my idea, I just wanted to make sure I have to top it off with that shadow green. Um, and then I'm gonna do Titan buff. Then I'm gonna do the blini, so pretty. And I'm gonna like load, you know? loader on there then i will do the shadow green god it's so hard to remember all the layering okay shadow green just like that okay are you ready this better be nice the last one was more stressful than it should be okay here we go Okay. Right? So let me move these paints out of the way because paint is about to fly. Let's see what we got going on here. Pretty. This white piece is bothering me, but I might have to skewer it at this point. And I like that the purple's very subtle. I'm not gonna skewer it too much. We'll just see kind of naturally, you know what? I really enjoy these colors. We're gonna see, now what's annoying about my spinner is because it's a 12 incher and this is a 14 incher, it's like not 100% super flat on it, but we're gonna go slow, okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave her, but I am going to be aware of the little bubbles 
that are stopping the flow. Because we don't want that. Don't stop my flow. Okay. Ooh. Pretty. This one is much more of a winner, isn't it? I think so. Okay. Hold on. Isn't that sound so annoying? Okay, hold on. Another buble. Buble. Okay, here we go. Whoop. All right. Yes, we have that negative space that I want. Um, I'm gonna just put it down just a little bit. Now, let's see another bubble getting in the way. Okay, gonna split it down just a tub. Okay. Okay, we're almost done spinning. It's cute. I'm gonna put it off a little bit to this side here. And, uh, almost, we're just spinning her out. And then I'll be ready to go. I'm very busy. Okay. Pretty, ooh, I really like these delicate colors a lot. Okay, one more down this way. Um, wait till you guys see it in the light. It's really delicate. Okay. Pretty. I think, you know? All right, guys. Well, thanks for sticking with me today. I hope it wasn't too stressful for you. <laughs> um, wait till you see her in the light. And um, have a good day. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye.